Hello viewers, today I am going to present the fish complement system. I will try to give an overview of the fish complement system. Today's outline, immunity system of fish. I will give a short description of the fish immune system, then definition of the complement protein, overview of complement protein, activation of complement protein. Actually, complement protein are not activated all the time. They remain inactive in the blood. After pathogen inserted into the fish body, they become activated. So, in this chapter, we will know how the complement protein activated. And then complement protein way of work. Why not act against host cell? Deactivation of complement proteins then some features of complement proteins and at last complement protein of fish here we can see the immune system of fish a specific immune system and the non-specific immune system non-specific immune system is very important in fish it's logical due to aquatic environment so this is an overview of fish immune system here we can see two types of immune system of fish. First one is innate immunity and the second one is acquired immunity. On the innate immunity, we can see some characteristics, physical barriers, cell mediated defense, humoral defense and so on. So today we will not discuss all about these things. We will discuss only about the complement system which is part of the innate immunity. So let's see the definition of the complement system. The blood and other extracellular fluids contain numerous proteins with antimicrobial activity, some of which are produced in response to an infection. The most important of these are components of the complement system. The complement system is a part of the innate immune system that enhances the ability of antibodies and phagocytic cells to clear pathogens from an organism. It is now known that it consists of over 30 proteins. These are mainly made continuously by the liver and are remain inactive until an infection or another trigger activates them. Overview of complement protein. Complement protein acts by three ways. One, opsonization, and the second, mem membrane attack complex, and the third one, enhanced inflammation. On the opsonization, complement protein attacks with pathogen. Second, macrophage has a special receptor to bind with complement protein, so macrophage can easily engulf the pathogen. On the membrane attack complex, complement protein can break the membrane of the pathogen, enriching the body fluid of the pathogen and lysis as well as destroy of pathogen. So on the later part, we will explain this all things with figure so you can easily understand all of these things. So there are three distinct pathways for the complement activation. These are classical pathway, lectin pathway and the alternative pathway. The early components of all of the pathways activate the C3. The deficiency of C3 indicates the repeated bacterial infection. On complement system, activation of one complement protein help another complement protein to activate. In this way, almost all complement protein are activated on the infected place. This process is called the cascade system. So now, question is how different complement protein activate through different pathways and how the complement protein act against the different pathogen. So this is the overview of activation of complement protein classical pathway, alternative pathway and the lectin pathway. On the classical pathway, C1Q, C1R, 
C1 is C2, C2 and C4 complement proteins are activated. And C3 factor D factor B propardine are activated on the alternative pathway. And in the lectin pathway, MBL, picolin, MASP2, C4, C2 are activated. All these um, all these complement protein eventually activate the complement protein C3, which splits into C3A and C3B. C3A with the help of other complement protein acts for enhanced inflammation and C3B with some other higher complement protein act for cell lysis, membrane attack complex and oxygenation. So after pathogen insert into the body, antibody bound to the surface of the pathogen thus activate the classical pathway. Recognition of fungal glycolipids and glycoproteins bearing terminal manus activate the lectin pathway. These two pathways cause the activation of complement component C3 and with the help of this C3 alternative pathway activate. Now on the classical pathway how the complement protein activate. When the microbe or pathogen insert into the fish body antibody bound with that and on that time C1Q, C1R, C1S attached with the antibody that activate the complement protein C2 and C4. Activate complement protein C2 and C4 splits into C2B, C2A and C4, C4B and C4A. This all things produce a complex that's called C4B2A complex. This complex activates the complement protein C3 and which eventually splits into C3B and C3A. Ficolin bind with oligosaccharide, mannose binding lactose bind with mannose and produce protein complex C4B2A or C3 convertase. This convertase activate the complement protein C3 which splits into C3B and C3A and we know that C3B works for oxygenization and C3 or C3A works for inflammation. And at the last alternative pathway, actually alternative pathway not activate spontaneously. When the classical pathway and the lectin pathway produce numerous C3B, that C3B with the help of factor B and factor D produce another convertase C3BBB that's also called C3 convertase and this C3 convertase splits the C3 into C3A and C3B. This C3B again with the help of factor B and factor D can produce C3 convertase or C3A or C3B can works mm, inflammation or some other parts. So this is the another overview of all pathway. So here we can see on the classical pathway when the antibody or some pathogen inserted into the fish body that's bind with the C1, Q, C1, R, C1, S and then they produce C3 convertase and then that splits C3 into C3A and C3B. And other way lectin pathway they also produce C3 convertase and this produce C3A and C3B and activate C3B later on the alternative pathway produce another convertase C3BBB. This all three C3 convertase produce the C, uh, all three C3B convertase produce the activate the C3 that's produce the C3A and C3B. 
so this is the another view of different pathway here we can see on the classical pathway that's after antibody binding c1 c2 c4 bind with that and eventually activate the classical protein c3 on the lectin pathway that's is minus binding mbl msp c2 c4 that's also eventually activate the c3 and on the alternative pathway after pathogen surface on the pathogen surface factor d factor b propardin it is they are add with this and that also activate the complement protein c3 and complement protein c3 with the help of other higher complement protein they help the phagocytosis recruitment of inflammatory cells and stimulation of adaptive immune responses so this is the another view of activation of complement protein and their way of work so later part we will discuss how complement protein act so previously we can see, we see that on the classical pathway lectin pathway and alternative pathway numerous c3a produce and this numerous c3a with the help of c5a produce mast cell and that mast cell secrete histamine and histamine enhance inflammation attract leukocyte we also see that there are so many c3b produce on the different pathway this c3b helps in the optionization membrane attack complex so for optionization c3b can make thyester bond with the bond c3b bind with pathogen so c3b with the thyester bond bond with the pathogen on the other way macrophage has also one uh, two receptor cr1 and c5a receptor for binding with pathogen it needs complement protein c5a so complement protein c5a bind with c5a receptor c5a bind with c5a receptor and allows cr1 to bind with c3b is attached with pathogen this way macrophage can perform phagocytosis by eating up the pathogen so previously we saw that c5a and c5b are very important for the work of complement protein so now question is how c5 is activated so previously we saw so many c3b produce and this c3b with bind with c3 convertase and then produce c5 convertase this c5 convertase activate the c5 that uh, activate c5 splits into two c5a and c5b membrane attack complex c5a a help in enhance inflammation optionization c5b with other higher complement protein like c7 c8 c9 form the membrane attack complex Forma formation of membrane attack complex can break the cell membrane of pathogen enriching the body fluid of pathogen as well as lysis of pathogen so why not act against the host cell host cells have various plasma membrane molecules that prevent complement reactions from proceeding against their cell among these molecules most important is sialic acids generally pathogen are lack of this sialic acid so after activation and work against the complement uh, pathogen the complement protein again deactivate there are two ways of complement protein deactivation a specific inhibitor proteins in the host cell terminate the cascade after completing work many protein are unstable unless they bind immediately to either the next component in the complement so without pathogen activity they rapidly inactive complement components shows highest activities at 15 to 25 degrees celsius retains activity even at 0 to 
these are inactivated their activity at 45 to 54 degrees celsius fish complement system display bactericidal activity against non-virulent strains of gram negative bacteria typically complement protein has c in front of is complement protein like c1 c2 c3 they are tend to be activated when they are clipped by something as for example c3 is clipped by c3a c3b c5b is clipped by c5a and c5b so now we can do something for the fish actually complement protein study is not so much regular in case of fish so if we want to study complement protein in fish we can do as like below the most com important complement protein is c3 that's mean c3a and c3b this protein with other complement protein do enhance inflammation opsonization and membrane attack complex so increasing number of this protein on blood serum indicates some pathogen on fish body also decreasing number indicates the innate immune deficiency of the fish as for example the deficiency of c3 indicates the repeated bacterial infection so by comparing between two group fish before pathogen infection after pathogen infection different complement protein contained in both group changes in the number of different complement protein how fast different complement protein number starts to change after pathogen infection we can study thank you for today hope you will like this video of course there are some problems on this video uh, hope next it will not be present in the um, video if you have any questions inquiry or advice please write in the comment sections we can discuss about that later Thank you. Thank you very much.